Evelyn, D7 from D13 Airsoft, showing you some footage from OP Thunderdome, specifically on that first Friday night. Uh, what you see here is a map of my first run, just showing you direction travel. Um, I was out there with D12, or Nico, who is now a full woman of the team, who you see right there. Um, and then D26 was running a little late, so he was back at spawn getting himself ready. Game on hits for uh, the DEF, or DEA Forces. Um, low light conditions so far, a lot of guys have nods. And then I do apologize about the camera angle. So I had a night vision device on my Rhino mount, so I had the GoPro on my side. So for this video, you're going to see a very small uh, field of view for the camera. The future videos for OP Thunderdome would not be like that. Um, this is obviously the commentary version. The non commentary version is just not going to have the Game's on. Trying to haul butt down there. Look, look. The left. Yeah, come on. And someone dropped the mag and then drop it again. Let go. If you haven't seen our AAR video on OP Thunderdome, um, a couple things from his one. Generally, really awesome time. And two, Nico, uh, D12, who was with me for the this weekend. This was his first airsoft game really ever. So no, no, you're going to see, especially in this uh, first you. night, there was a lot of expectations for him, at least from his perspective, like what to expect, what not to expect. Really wasn't sure how I was going to go. And something you'll see often is both of us desperately trying to stick together. Nico, yeah. see that communication. Uh, Nico. A lot of times we're physically yeah, grabbing onto each other's one. gear, so when we move, we move together. Right. On three. One, two, three. Yell at the guys get to get out, get out, get out of the way. Right. Get you won't see much more of that because very quickly realized <laughs> it, this is how you maneuver around here. Uh, I think I just love tap that guy's elbow with my rifle. That was nice. Good job, me. See here. I say, can we use around? Yeah, ready? Where One. are we going? Where are we going? See these guys right here? Is that big good? Yeah, ready? One, two, three, let's go. Just trying to move it forward. Make it good? Uh, from our perspective, it looks like we're doing okay on making distance um some guys are trying to push up so i told nico hey let's just try to you know sacrifice ourselves here and they go want to die real quick what want to die real quick why are we dying because it's fun yeah let's make it all the way to the door shit we cover the right i'll cover the left so we're trying to push up just just kind of help everyone else move up as well and, uh, we'll see how that goes Whacked around the corner. Um, so we die there. We actually bleed out for five minutes. They weren't able to help us out. But um, shortly afterwards, we were able to make some more ground there. So it wasn't in the vein. Uh, with that said, we do want to see what's going on, on the other side. So we both bleed out. We respawn. And now we head back to this intersection. And we'll take a left at this time. Notice the low light conditions with it being Friday night, but also still a certain amount of lighting in the hallways. So it, a weapon light was really important, but you didn't necessarily need night vision in most of these areas. Uh, at least not that first night. Yeah, there's Nico and me grabbing each other's gear, just trying to stay together. can't tell this is a very chaotic environment which is part of the fun but also part of the challenge
close one. We had enough guys here, we could punch it. But yeah, again, the weapon light seemed to be more dominant in night vision in most of these areas. At least where we were fighting the first night. Yeah, Rick, you say? I gotta find the rest of my guys. Rifleman could not go automatic, so semi-automatic only for us. was an issue for me. I, I don't care for automatic often. And uh, rare to use of me using a night vision device, poking my head around, seeing a white light, and then saying, screw that. So we're suppressing, I go low, I die for SMG, which SMGs were allowed to go automatic. Suppressing above, guys cross to the right. Said, at this point, I realized Nico was no longer with me for some reason. So I decided to kind of peel back to figure out where we went. I saw him behind a kiosk. There he is, the power slide. I'm going to start reviving him. Note that uh, he could be revived, um, and no one else near him was doing so. Kind of screwed up, actually. <laughs> That's why you take care of your friends. He did not know where his tourniquets were, so I actually gave him one of mine. Not sure if you'll have to do that, but at the end of the day, use tourniquet is use tourniquet, and then I was down one. Uh, for the rules here, you could have two tourniquets or medical bandages. You apply them on your teammate, and they could be back in. Alright, get up. Follow me. Follow me, there you go. So, Nico took a little bit to collect his stuff and get back up. So he went over to that kiosk over there and we'll try to get back up to him. Yep. Again, this was uh, his first real airsoft game and this is one heck of a airsoft game to get thrown into. So we talked about in the ARR video, but Nico did a really good job. Just really adapting to a lot of stuff. Hey, Nico. We're gonna move up about five feet, all right? You ready? Where are we going? We're gonna be moving right behind this cover, okay, ready? All right, yeah. Trying to communicate, stick together, try to keep moving up. Couple shots around the corner. Friendly calling up on a report, trying to find the props for this game. The bread and butter, how you win this game, is finding various props throughout the field and bringing them back to stash houses to defend or steal from the other team. Check this guy out. Respirator mask, suppressed miniature L86. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Good job. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. I reload, Nico covers me. Someone must have lost something because they're just white lighting all of us in the room. That's nice. Those are silhouettes to be seen. Do you know where you lost it? No, but I know I ain't been far, so. What is it? Uh, yeah, spur of the moment, we try to cross. Nico makes it across first, but uh, I have to wait for my families to finish. And I make it across too. 
Oh, okay. I'm all right. You good, Nico? All right, fair card to Mecca. Take him. Second team Hawk now! Nico. Grab him, take him! Let's go, Maya! He might be our CO for the okay, team. Ready? Let's go! Yeah, right ready? I gotta get Sal. I mentioned the AR for both sides. They had a really good CEOs. So I tried to move forward, got shot. Um, I actually thought I was going to be bleeding out there, and then I looked to my left, and uh, turns out there's actually a bunch of friendlies in that building, so they're able to drag me in, revive me. Hanging out here for a bit. Take a step forward, please. I got. One of my guys is up here. Confirm. Can they go? Yeah. Wanna make a run for it, get into this building right here. I'll try to toss right the grenade. Right in the yeah. Okay. I'm gonna toss the grenade. Hey, watch it. Right, you're on the right edge of this next barricade. Don't miss. So if I get over the barricade, we good? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna cheat up. I got some. Yeah. I made it, Nico did not, but he died right at the doorway, so I was able to drag him in, revive him. As long as you physically touch a dead player, um, then you can transport him. You don't necessarily have to drag them. So we're starting to make some progress around this intersection. Guys are creeping behind them, but the uh, cartel, the opposing forces, they still had a good presence on that other corner, so we couldn't just take a left just yet. Almost. Hit the ceiling. Good try. Good try. Where is he? Where are you throw the grenades at? Right here. All the way in the corner. Right here. 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 Right Friendly of Tracers, almost hit my own teammate there. Goodness, didn't mind walking out. Nice power slide. That's all right. Me too. Coming, 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 coming. You good? You good? Clear the door! Clear the door! Clear the door! Clear the door! I get clear the door! Trying to get, trying to get. Couple guys making it right there, getting schwacked. So grab them. Okay, I'll try it. All right. I don't so Nico is on his last life, so he's going to try to right, toss a grenade and suppress. I didn't go far enough. He got shot shortly afterwards, but to Nico's credit, that actually went further than I thought. I think he got someone with that. Um, so I'm on my last life. Nico's bleeding out. So once Nico bleeds out, um, I follow him back just you know, so I can get my revives back as well. And that starts our third run, where we go back up to the the north uh, western side, trying to go back down there. Uh, Nico's running a little late. He has to redo his eye protection, his headgear, so I'm running alone for a little bit. Um, ahead of me is D26. He's been fighting over there. Uh, I'm gonna link up with him later. Talking about the spawn cards. I mean, if we charge, at least one of us, or two of us, can make it. Fun gimmick. A couple, of, one of the teams had a uh, Viking horns on their helmets. Um, when everyone's walking around here in the dark, with silhouettes uh, and, and plate carriers and tan gear, uh, they kind of look the same. So having different stuff like that helps differentiate him. You can tell who's on that team. I know uh, D26 had the cowboy hat, so it was easy to see him in the dark, too. A couple guys trying to move up. Suppress him. There's a guy above me shooting, so I go low. 
even here you can see this, the floor absolutely caked in BBs already and this is just the first night. Hey, do we have, do we know how many more friendlies we got ahead of us? No idea. Quite a few. Quite a few. Oh, we'll yeah, see that. Brennan! Charming! Where are you going? You're dead! Oh, I know where my guys are. Hang on. He's like fine. Probably not wise of me to put my head out when I get a silhouette of uh, a friendly weapon like that. This is what it is. Nice jump. Yeah, and waist high cover like that, you were allowed to hurdle over at this AO. All right, I'm gonna go last. I'm no one that can medic people, like full medic. It must be open as hell. Ain't nobody got a shot. And immediately schwack. Uh, someone was already shooting at us down there. I walked right into it. Um, took me a minute, but eventually I was able to get revived. You did that? No. Just drag me back. I don't want to drag you because you dragged me to kill me. He got me and uh, revived me real quick. I'm a little vague on the details um, in this commentary because I'm assuming most of you watching this have already watched our AAR video on OP Thunder Now. If you haven't already told, yes, we're in a mall. Again, I highly recommend you watching it. A lot of smooth movements around here. A lot of guys moving up and down in these bunkers. It's good. Someone had a visible laser there. Pointing at our friendly back. Oh, and you see some friendlies moving that darn street sweeper, the floor sweeper out of the building. I, I don't know why they thought that was allowed. In our AR, allegedly, they asked uh, the admins if they could do so um, before they did it. Uh, I know CRISPR, one of the head admins, had to stream in a different YouTube channel, and he made it quite clear. Uh, no, they did not. So, yeah. Not sure what compels people to do that. I think that was a clean kill. I actually got the guy. load-bearing system. A little, a little too much junk in the trunk trying to hop over that. You good? Yeah, this part down here, due to how dark it is in that hallway, maybe a night vision device would be nice. But again, generally, weapon lights would be good. You good?
Oh, shit. If I pulled the trigger, I don't oh, know. Shit. Either way, it was close. Friendly popped up right in front of me. Left. Want to cut right? You got it. Kind of there, but uh, pushed out, checked down the hallway. It was already cleared. Right, so Having a pressure pad for the weapon lane right uh, very helpful. You also noticed the magnifier using use my ear tech. Uh, I just did not have for this event. I decided to take it off. There's no use for magnification in this type of environment. Um, so we cut across, try to get inside this building. walk in. That would have been the end of for me, um, but there is some with a spawn card inside. So how this works is they give you a playing card, you uh, get your tourniquets back, and then you rip the card to make sure that no one can use it again. And of course they issue out the card so there's a finite number. Really interesting way to handle um, a different way of not going back to the respawn the beginning. It's a good thing he had that too because uh, about to use some grenades and it makes a difference. Got quite a few cartel members inside this building right here. Yep. Hey, 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 I see my laser. Watch out, watch out, watch out. So in this building right here. Yeah, right there. You see him right there? Hi! Give a thumbs up. One of the cartel guys through the window acknowledged he got out, but there's still quite a few hiding behind a uh, barrier inside of it, so they survived. Uh, I think I'm going to give D26 my other grenade, let him rush up as we suppress, try to take him out. Does succeed. In. Yep. Uh, yeah. Less than gracefully hurdle over that. <clears throat> the issue is we take those guys out, but there's still a couple of guys poking their heads out at the end of the hallway in one of the rooms that you could connect back to the, the main hallway of the mall, so they're able to reinforce it. Standing on top of the little kiosk bench, shooting down at him. a lot of people with some expensive night vision on that actually aren't even using said night vision. Um, again, in our AR video we talk about it, but it is a kind of an interesting surprise with AO, how much ambient light there actually is even at night. Get swacked. D26 crops out and grabs me, but then he gets shot, so a third guy to daisy chain it and revive me so that I could then revive 26. Man. 
then we started to make a big push down here in the hallway to take him out in the last couple minutes of the game. Nice thought. That's all right. Try to push up with him soon. Just skips past this one room, so I decided to put my head in there real quick and get completely shot. That was actually their last stash house on the side of the field for the cartel. No response left, and now I'm out. <laughs> 